And I walked in there, and he said something I wasn't prepared to hear. He told me the truth. He said, we're a country at war. We've been in Afghanistan since 2001. They just jumped into Iraq March 26, 2003. This was the week after that. He said, you're an 18-year-old able-bodied male. If you want to make a tangible difference in the country that's given you absolutely everything, join the United States Army. Whew. Dang, that was good. I told him that. I was like, that is awesome. You just keep on telling people that, and you're going to get tons of folks in here to, to join the Army. But there's a radio commercial, and it said I get a free T-shirt to come in and talk to you. And he said, yeah, yeah. So, so he said, but what are you going to do with this? I don't know, wear it. I don't know what else you want me to do with it. And he said, well, I'll tell you what, we have this test. It will validate your skills, your strengths, your weaknesses, and uh, maybe we'll just go from there. A couple days later, they came back to me, and they said, uh, I could do anything I want in the United States Army as an enlisted personnel. No one's ever said that to me before. Usually, like, hey, Sal, you can do whatever you want as long as you redo what you just did and make it a whole lot better than you did the first time. Then whatever you want after that. But they gave me an opportunity, and I wanted that. I wanted to make something of myself, and they gave me that avenue to do that. They were the conduit of service for me. I showed up. I, so I, I'm there, and I'm thinking, well, he said, what do you want to do in the Army? I'm like, well, you know you had me when you said I could do anything I want, and so... I know he's still going to sell me on something. I'm looking around, trying to think of something smart to say before he starts, you know, telling me a whole bunch of stuff I don't want to hear. And he's like, well, what do you want to do? There's this parachute hanging from the ceiling. I want to jump out of planes. He says, oh, yeah, that's airborne. That's 150 extra bucks a month. <sighs> Obviously, I know he's not going to mess with me now. Ask me another question. I'll pick another job with a bonus. Uh, and he said, he said, well, you know, it's a supplement to a job. It's not actually a career. Uh, you know, what kind of things are you into? I don't know. I want to jump out of planes and spit and swear, fight bad guys, leave Iowa. He said, stop, say no more. That's an actual job description. It says right here, airborne infantry, you're going to love it. It's just, it's just exactly what you're asking for. <laughs> it sounds good to me. I'm in. And so I joined. That, that, that idea of service had left me, but the opportunity to make myself useful was instilled in me that day. 